What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Showing Tech. I hope you all had a healthy and safe holiday, but this video here is dedicated to my mobile gamers. So the headset that we're looking at today is called the Cyberfox T1s, and these are created by FlyDigi. If you've never heard of FlyDigi, if you just take a second and look at their Amazon account, they've got tons of crazy products for all you mobile gamers out there. They've got thumb sleeves, they've got triggers that mount to your phone, tons of interesting things, but what I find the most interesting is their truly wireless earbuds. So the Cyberfox T1s, what makes them special is they get rid of that problem that's been plaguing mobile gamers ever since they got rid of the headphone jack. So by using Bluetooth headphones when you're gaming, there was always that latency issue where you would fire a shot and then a second later you would hear it in your ears. And that's pretty problematic for us gamers because you need to know if somebody's got you in their sights or you want to hear that feedback when your opponent drops a unit on their side of the arena. So with the Fly Digi Cyberfox T1s, they reduce that latency down to 60 milliseconds. So what I love about these headphones is that when I'm playing them, it feels like I'm playing a console game or playing without headphones because that feedback is immediate. So taking a look at the case of the Cyberfox T1s, they kind of look like they were probably created in the exact same factory that produces the cases for the AirPods Pro. So they've got that same sort of shape. As a matter of fact, they're pretty much the same size aside from that little gaming ridge that you kind of see uh, just right here. But on the bottom of them, they are charging through USB-C and there's an included cable in the box that is USB-A to USB-C, but that cable is comically short. It's probably about this long. So you're gonna wanna invest in a cable for yourself if you're looking at picking these guys up. What else is included in the box is your standard set of different sizes of ear tips and they are marked on the inside of each ear tip to let you know which size they are but you can obviously tell by looking at them you've got a small the medium already comes on the earbuds themselves and you've also got a large now going back to the case one thing that i find interesting about this and kind of annoying in my opinion is that you don't have an accurate measure of how much battery the case actually has. So if you look at something like your uh, Soundcore Liberty Air 2s, you've got those three LED lights to sort of tell you how much battery you have. If you look at the AirPods Pro, you can open up your phone and it's going to give you an exact percentage of how much battery you have. With these guys here, when you open up the case, all that you have is this blue light right here. And if you see that blue light, then that means that your case has over 20% battery. If you open the case and it's red, that means you have less than 20% battery. So it's not the most accurate, but overall it's pretty good. In terms of how much charge you get when you're using these headphones or how many hours you can use them for, they're advertised at about four hours of playback, which isn't terrible. As a matter of fact, it's the same amount of time that you get if you're using AirPods Pro. And then with the case, you're gonna get roughly 24 to 30 hours in total. Now. Some people might say that's not enough. Maybe I need more than four hours, but at the end of the day, you're probably not gonna play for four straight hours on your phone anyways, or watch a movie for four straight hours on your phone anyways, without taking a second to stop and charge it. And so at that time, you just put the buds back in the case, let them charge up while your phone is taking a break too. Now looking at the design of the actual earbuds, they do remind me of the AirPods Pro as well. They've got a shorter stock design, and when you pull them out and look at them from the back, they have a very similar shape to the AirPods Pro, aside from the big touch sensor that you'll see on the back of these. Now, the touch sensor, to me, it kind of looks unsightly because the plastic is gray and looks very cheap, but it is also very useful because when you're using those touch controls, you know exactly where your finger needs to be placed in order to affect those controls. With other earbuds, you're kind of guessing sometimes and everything feels very uniform, so at least this gives you a differentiated platform to put your fingers on and access those controls. Now, the controls on this are pretty standard. You've got your play, your pause, skip forward, skip back. You can't control the volume, but if you're using these to play a game or watch a movie anyways, chances are your hands are gonna be on the phone and you can manipulate the volume that way. So as I said, these are very good for gaming. I've been using them like crazy since I got them. Um, I have absolutely no issues with these when I have both earbuds in. So to get that 60 millisecond Fox speed, so that low latency gaming, you actually have to have two of them in. I don't know if it's an issue with my earbuds, but uh, in previous videos, I've said I'm someone who always likes to have just one in, and preferably I like to have my left one in my ear. And I noticed that whenever I put just the left one in and play a game, there is still that lag latency in the audio. And the second I put two in, you hear a little chime, and then 
that activates, I guess, the 60 millisecond speed. Once you take one out after having activated both, then that latency does stay at the 60 milliseconds. But for some reason, if you just start off with one, you're gonna have some lag. So that to me is kind of annoying that I have to first take both out, put them both in, and then take one out and go. That way I can play and still hear what's going on in my surroundings. Now, as far as using these to listen to music, they are good. Uh, the price of these is only 55 bucks. So for that $55, you're getting a pretty decent set of earbuds. There's really not much to complain about in terms of the sound for that, especially because you know that you're buying these for basically one specific purpose. And so that's pretty much it. Like I said, the Cyberfox T1s by Flydigi are a very nice set of earbuds. They're specific to gamers and it eliminates that problem of having that lag. So for any of you PUBG players out there or you Call of Duty Mobile or just anyone that likes to play like strategy games and things where it's like hearing what unit your opponent dropped on the other side, then these are definitely for you. But a couple of things to remember again is that if you're gonna put just one earbud in, you need to put two in first and then put one back in the case and that'll activate that fox speed and then you shouldn't have any problems with lag after that. So that's pretty much it for me. If you have any questions as usual, leave them down below. Much love as always, throwing up two of them and I'll catch you guys in 2021. Peace.